welcome back. Today, we are moving on to part two in the series of all things gut microbiome. Our topic today is the role of probiotics. Now, if you haven't watched the first video, I do highly recommend watching it first as I explain exactly what the gut microbiome is. Simply put, probiotics are the good friendly bacteria that have been shown to exert a specific health benefit on our bodies. Different strains will have different functions including keeping us regular, strengthening our immune system, improving mental health, managing blood sugar levels, supporting bone density, reducing the risk for colorectal cancer, and much more. Probiotic rich foods are found commonly in fermented foods. So think kefir, kombucha, sauerkraut, kimchi, miso paste, as well as yogurts and certain cheeses. I know what some of you guys are thinking. What about all the loaves of sourdough bread? Though the culture contains live microorganisms, by the time the bread is baked, they would have all died off and probiotics need to be alive. Furthermore, not all fermented foods contain probiotics, but fermented foods still contribute to a diverse array of microorganisms to your existing gut microbiome. Here's another analogy for you. Just like in school, the teachers are all qualified and you can always learn something from them, but not all teachers will leave you with an impression to last a lifetime. Probiotic supplementation have become quite popular and mainstream. Even Costco have a few brands for you to choose from now. However, what I find most striking is that most people are walking to the store and playing a game of eeny, meeny, miny, mo, as if they're just walking to a nail salon and choosing a color that they feel like for that day. Now remember what I said earlier, each probiotic strain have a specific health benefit or function. So it's really important for you to do some research or consult with a health professional so that they can guide you in choosing the right probiotic supplementation for what you're seeking for. Let's get this straight though, I am not against probiotic supplementation, I just think you need to be well informed before choosing a product off the shelf. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about prebiotic fiber. Personally, I think prebiotics get too little spotlight for all the advantages that they have over consuming probiotic rich foods and even supplementation alone. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part three in this series.